Good morning. Today we are beginning with Sons and Lovers, Chapter 15. This is the concluding chapter. And we find that Paul feels lost and friendless. And he is quite lonely. He and his father have parted ways. And Clara has already gone back to Baxter. Mr. Morel stays with the family and Paul also takes up a room in Nottingham. He tries to engage himself and works day and night. Then he goes to pubs, but still he is feeling miserable and unhappy. He is as yet unable to come to the terms of reality and he cannot see any point of continuing living. He feels as if only darkness can provide him with some relief. So we see that again he is on the brink of suicidal thoughts. One night when he gets home, he keeps on thinking as to what he is doing with his life and what does he want in actuality. In that, emo in that emotional state, the voice from within tells him to completely destroy himself and the thoughts of committing suicide uh, resur resurfaces. As everything revolved around his mother and as she is no longer there, therefore he is unable to see any future for himself without her. Life is meaningless for him, so he does not pay any attention to painting, nor he wants to get married, and nor he wants to settle down. He goes to pubs and drinks and flirts, but Nothing has a meaning for him. And in that state, he remembers Miriam's, Miriam and he then ponders whether he could go back to her. So once while he is at church, he runs into Miriam. There he watches her sing psalms. Again, he thinks of her as a saint. She is surprised to see him after the service and informs him that she would be going home the next day. He invites her to his house for dinner and she agrees to have dinner with him. When Miriam goes to his house and looks around Paul's room, she finds that it is too gloomy and comfortless and feels miserable for him. Then she informs him that she is going to be a teacher once she gets trained. He is uh, disappointed with the news that she had not shared the news of her acceptance into college. But we find that Miriam is happy and excited about her prospects. But Paul is unable to digest this news. He is not convinced of her prospects and he says that she would be wasting her time as 
woman cannot wholly commit herself to work. And we see that Miriam feels offended and then she becomes sarcastic. And then Paul too becomes critical of Miriam. But later we find that Miriam offers Paul to marry her. But again, with his usual excuse, he rejects her and says that he will be soon going abroad. Miriam is in despair that Paul has again rejected her and not ready to love her. Although she knows this fact that he is emotionally unstable but there was a thought in her mind that probably she would be able to persuade him while on the other hand paul thinks that she is not strong enough to control or contain him He gives the flowers to Miriam that she liked in his room and then he walks her back to her cousin's house and he goes to the country and again feels that there is an empty space within him and a strong desire engulfs him to be a part of the darkness. He is lost without his mother and feels he has ceased to exist. And he feels in that darkness that he is probably accompanying or probably his mother is accompanying him because he feels her presence. Although he understands she is dead but he wants to join her. But towards the end we find that he rejects this idea and decides to find a new meaning and a purpose in life. With this, we conclude the novel Sons and Lovers. Thank you.